Hey guys, this is John. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to adjust the length of pull on my Savage uh, 110. This is the Apex Hunter model. Um, they have the different uh, length of pull adjustment uh, pieces that you put in. Now this one here would probably be for a child. It's really small. Uh, I kind of have short arms for being six and a half foot tall. Um, so I'll probably go with this middle piece here. Uh, this one is just a step down from what they put on the rifle over here. This is the thickest one. Uh, I may fit this one in first and then see if I want to go down one more. But what it does, you see this right here, it's, uh, it shows the length of pull. You'll put the rifle stock in the, this part of your arm. And if you can grab a hold of the grip and put, have your finger right on the trigger, it's the proper length of pull for your arms. And uh, what we've done here is we've taken this apart and we're going to place uh, probably this, this unit here inside. And uh, they give you the different screw lengths for the, the longest one, uh, be here. Or if you want to add more, I guess, it would be here. Then you come drop down a size and then the smallest size probably here. I don't know exactly what's in here. I haven't quite taken it all out, but let's see if I can get it off. Uh, still hanging up a little bit in the top. But you want to be able to see the entire scope opening. You don't want to have any blackout like it shows here on the card. See that black ring around it? You want to shorten the stock if you see a ring around your scope. You want to have proper eye relief. You want to see the entire clear picture, what's around it. And uh, this is if you have to use the comb pieces here, the cheek risers, if your target looks low through the scope to bring your head up. But this is what we're going for here, and we're adjusting the length of pull on the rifle. So I'm going to take it out, and it just slips off. Now I thought they were all individual pieces, but they're not. Uh, you can see here this is a little thinner overall. I would say three of the rings shorter and then you got it even thinner and the thinnest so what I'll probably do is mm, let me set it up with this one here we'll put it all back together and get right back with you uh, alright guys what we've done is we've taken out this spacer here so you can see it's a fair bit thicker about three of these rings is what I dropped down and I uh, brought the length of pull in some. So just for an example here, I just want to bring my hand right to it, set it right in there, my finger's right in place. And then when I drop it down, I just come around to it. Looking out to the scope, and I've got a comfortable adjustment. I see the full picture here and my scope. There's no blackout, if you will, on the sides or enclosure coming in. So it looks like it's just about perfect for me, right there. So that's what we're doing. We just uh, decreased the length of pull by taking out the larger comb. And then there's two screws, top and bottom, pulled those out. And there's a little bit of styrofoam up in here between the, the screws. I'm not sure if that's just for sound deadening, but uh, the rifle is somewhat balanced. A little barrel heavy because it's got the heavy contour barrel with the uh, uh, we call that um, fluting in there, but it's not too bad if you get it about in this position. You can feel it's falling forward. I really wouldn't want to add any weight in here unless I absolutely had to, but it does bring it up to your shoulder rather easily uh, because of the front uh, barrel weight. But it's not too bad. I'd say it's probably around. Nine and a half, ten pounds. And I've got it set up here. Feels like about nine and a half, ten pounds. Now I got the magazine and the bolt laying out of it right now, just to work on it. But we got this in place. Uh, I feel like it's a little, a little bit better length of pull for me, and uh, real happy with it. So we'll put it back together here, real quick. Let's see if I can get the bolt back in place. It's a double system. You have to pull back on the trigger and pull this all the way down to get the bolt out. So let's do 
just gotta go back, yep. Go back in there. Got that in place. And then the magazine. And it kind of sets up in here. And then we just snap it on the front. And you're ready to go hunting. We took all the stickers off of it and everything that had hanging on it. So uh, we're ready to go out. It's four sided with this Vortex Diamond back. Uh, I'll probably go with the Hornady. Uh, at Super Formance, uh, it was 123 grain SSTs. All right, guys. Well, that's kind of just a little short overview of, of what you uh, can use here on the Savage 110 if you need a, a longer length of pull or shorter ones uh, for children or maybe your wife. All right. We'll talk at you later.